16. We're interested in the problem of optimization over discrete expectations. In general, we have discrete h, and we want to maximize expectation of f of h, where f is a function of our choosing, and p of h is a vector of independent Bernoulli's. This kind of problem is desirable for sparse computation and interpretability with wide applications, for example, in hard attention and memory networks, sigmoid belief networks, and discrete action reinforcement learning. Existing gradient estimators come in two flavors. Unbiased estimators can have high variance, which can lead to slow convergence, whereas biased estimators have fast convergence but are biased, which can lead to the wrong solution. We introduce rebar. I'll go over the basic strategy of rebar with the, leaving the details to the talk and to the paper. We start with a discrete model and we reparameterize our discrete latent variables h as heavy side of a continuous variable z. And then we can relax the heavy side function to a temperature dependent sigmoid. In the continuous model, we can apply the reparameterization gradient trick. We can correct for the approximation error by looking at the reinforced gradient of the discrete model and the continuous model. This constructs a low variance unbiased gradient estimator, which we call rebar. There are more details in the paper on exactly how the approach works. Here I'm showing an evaluation of several approaches on a sigmoid belief network for binary MNIST. On the left, I've plotted the variance of the gradient estimators for various unbiased gradient estimators. And as you can see, rebar perform, outperforms all of the previous approaches. On the right, I've plotted the log likelihood lower bound as training proceeds. And as you can see, the improved performance of rebar leads to faster convergence and to a final better log likelihood lower bound. We evaluate the approach on several other data sets in the paper. In conclusion, rebar is a gradient estimator that produces low variance unbiased gradient estimates. It automatically adapts the relaxation temperature online. Code is available at this link. The talk is at on Wednesday, at 1035 to 1050 in Hall A, and I hope to see you there. Thank you.